Hey there, this is Ian Golden with DJ Tech Tools, and today I would like to share with you our VCI 100 SE mapping. This is something we worked really, really hard on, and I'm very excited to share all the little details that we built into it with you. So let's dive right in and take a look and see how it works. Okay, so here we are in Tractor. To first load a track, all you need to do is select the list down, and you can load a track into the left deck or the right deck. You'll notice that when you press lift uh, list down, it goes into browse mode. To exit that, you just need to hit the sh exit button, which is underneath shift. Um, once you've loaded a track, you can go in and hit the Q button. Cue up a track, hit play, pause a track. This is, of course, the play pause button. At any time, you can use the jog wheel to scroll through the track, find the beginning or find the position you want to play, and then hit play. Pressing the jog wheel again while playing will stop the track. Or if you want more of a CDJ kind of experience, you can turn scratch off and the top will be a pitch bend. So once you've got the left track running, you'll want to set a loop. We've got a loop eight button here that'll drop an eight count loop and keep that cycling. You want to make sure you have your beat grid set so that stays in time. Uh, if you want to shorten the loop, you can use the loop half button next to it. That'll bring the loop down. And if you want to extend it, just hit shift and bring the loop size back up. With the loop running, you'll probably want to go and start another track. Go to the right side. First thing you want to do is sync up the track. This is going to match the tempos. After you've hit sync, you can go ahead and move the pitch fader and further adjust the tempo, but they're now going to be out of position with each other. If you'd like to match the physical pitch fader with the virtual one, press shift and the pitch fader, and then they will match each other. But we're going to go ahead and just use sync get the tempo as matched and start the right hand deck with a loop on. Now we're going to deactivate the loop on the left side. Anytime we could hit shift and reactivate that same loop by using the active command. Or reset another eight count loop at any time. Now we can go ahead and use the mixer controls like the volume faders, the EQs, the gains, and the filters to get our mix. You've got your headphone section where you can queue up the left deck or the right deck, fade between the master output and the program or the queued output, and adjust the level of your headphones. So let's go ahead and get another deck in the mix. To control deck C or D, you've got two dedicated buttons to this, which will allow you to control deck C and D, or a combination of A and D. At any time, you can also copy a deck to another deck by using the shift deck C or D copy. Let's go ahead and set some cue points on the fly. First thing I want to do is release this loop. And you could press shift plus the jog wheel. The other way to set cue points is to go into juggle mode. This is going to turn in the bottom four buttons into juggle access points. One, two, three, and four, or five, six, seven, eight. You can turn it off back on, or switch between the two. With juggle mode on, we can clear and set cue points. Right now I'm going to clear out my cue points 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now I can redrop them on the fly. If I want to play back the track, all I need to do is set a cue point, start playing it, and while I'm holding down that cue point, press the juggle button. And we can go ahead and use shift plus the cue points to clear those cue points and set some new ones. While you're playing a cue juggle, you may want to record it so it continues to play without you having to hit the juggle buttons. You can use a sampler to do this. Once you hit the sampler, the headphone buttons are going to blink in time with the beat, indicating that they're waiting for you to tell them which deck you want to sample. To exit sample mode, just hit sampler again. But if you do want to record yourself, Press the deck you want to record just before the downbeat. And it will continue playing that loop over for the full eight counts. You can adjust the volume, introduce a glitch, and adjust the length. Work in the filter for even more of an effect.
when you're ready, just turn the sampler off. A lot of you may like to work with several different tracks at once. Right now I've got four different loops going. In order to control all four of these loops at the same time, you need to go to the Control Loops Bank. It allows you to control loops on A, B, C, D using the on and off buttons and the loop lengths here on these knobs. You can see I've got four loops running because all the four buttons are lit up and you can see the loop length shown here on the knob. I can now control each of the loops lengths independently and turn them on or off using these four buttons. Music. 